What's happening, Chief? Get the flip flop shit on me. Mean shit now. with Bob Honey Bun. Whose ass I gotta kick to get myself a beer off up in here? People like this are a menace to decent society. <laughs> who decided that? You already know what business is. You kill ass one day, man. Introducing our DJ. Who you talking to, Sonny Boy? Ah. Uh, Got something I know you going to dig. Don't you understand English, boy? We're going to be naked together. Watch my back and watch my dust from over there, T. You know my sales slogan. You want it, I got it. If I ain't got it, I'm going to get it. So get it while it's getting good. Versatility Vision. Brought to you by Ultrasound Entertainment. I will call this series A Stranger in Our Own Home. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Just get busy, things come up. But, which pushed me to do this at this time and to finally stop procrastinating is the six year old boy who got shot by the Asian man who didn't like little black kids or any kids playing next to his yard, in his yard or whatever. Now, you can go and find the source you can do that yourself. You can do that homework yourself. I'm not going to sit here and say this is where it's from because I've seen and heard different people talk about it. You don't need me to to have me pull the source. Because the reason why I'm talking about it is because somebody else already spoke about it. Even though this is original content, the information that I'm coming with is not verbatim, but more likely paraphrase uh, so the six year old boy is playing like any six year old would be doing outside this Asian man is disgruntled with the, with the little boy or something is he racist does he hate children something wrong with him anyway this little boy gets shot in the arm and you know in my opinion just like the other people who reported on this that little boy didn't know how close he was to a to, to grave danger they said the asian man tried to swing at him with a sledgehammer oh yeah something was wrong with him something was definitely wrong with him but a stranger in our own home this man gets bailed out for a thousand dollars it's a ten thousand dollar bond reduced ten percent to a thousand now they're trying to push to I think up his his um his bond or whatever. But I mean the fact that they gave him just a thousand dollars just to get out and he discharged a firearm. Maybe it was owned by him, maybe it wasn't. But you shot at a child. Like I don't care if it if it was attempted murder, you shot at a child, period. And then that's when the, the attempted murder gets slapped on at the end. But it's the fact that you shot at a child. You should all, that's a felony. You should have no bond. And you should be, uh, have a three day hold. They treated that as a misdemeanor. He bonded out. You can't bond out when you got a three day hold on you. Especially if it's a felony. Now he committed a felony. But somehow, some way, the law in this land seems to write itself when there's already a law in place that's what the law does the law there's a there's a certain law in place and then they make it so to where the law actually rewrites itself to back up whatever was was claimed in the in the first part of what the law laid out but I'm sitting here thinking like now if, if the six year old if it was flipped around if the six year old would have had a little BB gun or something like that the police probably would have pulled up and shot him to death Tamir Rice hmm? remember that playing with a toy gun cops pull up shoot him dead this little boy is minding his business playing as a child as I said this grown adult finds some type of reasoning in his head to pull a gun out on a child 
Now, like I said, if that little boy would have did something similar to, let's say he did have something. I mean, they would. My whole point is, they they probably would have tried him as an adult. This little this little boy or whatever. If he would have did anything, threw a rock, shattered the window, <laughs> he'd have sat down for a while until his parents came and got him. But if he was a little older and and he did something that's a, a, um, qualifiable for for jail time, then they would have threw it at him. And this is why I say, like, we're a stranger in our own home now. I know there's people out there which I don't I don't I don't disagree with you to, to some extent. All those people out there talking about we all come from Africa and, and some of the prestige and and and, and co founders of, of such and such and the people on YouTube and everything will teach you that you were drug beaten and 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 double crossed by your people in Africa and this is how we all got here. Now, I don't believe that. I don't believe that for one bit that we all came from Africa. If you do, that's fine. They said, well, all life started in Africa. It wasn't called Africa. It was called Pangea. The continents were not split up when there were people on this planet. And people have been on this planet for millions of years. Contrary to what they tell you. I mean, it's unfathomable. It's, it's some shit that you just can't, like, you know, like the concept of, of God. You, you, you're going to get a, a, a brain freeze or a brain fart just trying to think about it. Because it's, it's beyond your comprehension of thinking or whatever. But anyway, there's those people out there who think we all come from Africa. I feel, and, and from the stories that my grandmother told me from my lineage as an individual, individual lineage, uh, we were already here. We all had different shades. Pocahontas, yes, that's that's us. Like I said, there, there are the quasis, the kind of sort of Indians. You don't see no blonde-headed Indians. You never see no blonde-headed Indians. So that they're, they're all straight, jet black-haired, and they mix with this and that, and then over hundreds of years, then they procreated with Europeans or people with European descent, ancestry. And then now that's why they look the way they do right now. Because they keep inbreeding with with uh, Europeans or whatever. But this, we were here. That's why I say it, we're a stranger in our own home. You know, and my biggest issue is immigrants that come from other countries and treat us like they were treated in their country. Because I look at it like this. If you got to move to another country, you know, for the good old American dream or whatever you want to say, good old American pie lifestyle, I feel that they were treated like shit in their country. Then they come over here and look down on you because that's the stereotype. They gave us that jacket from day one. So these people come over here and try to look down on you like you a piece of shit when in actuality maybe in your country you were treated like shit because you wasn't shit you wasn't about shit but you could come to America buy up this corner over here and everything don't have to pay no taxes or anything like that and flourish us the melanated people the ebony's the copper colored people, the niggas, the black people. We still last. And I'm going I'm to end it with this on this on this episode. Everybody seems to get everybody seems to get their rights before us. Right? Everybody seems to get their rights before us. Think about it. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all know this. You, you, I mean, you have the movements. You have the, you have the women rights, the civil rights. Uh, I'm just going to take it a step further and just fast forward to today. The animals. I mean, I understand. You know, not 
abusing animals and everything like that, but I, the animals get abused every day. You know, a lot of them people don't crack down on them, but animals get abused every day. But they got their own organization. They don't even know it. The animals come before us. The L G B T Q and all the other letters that follow after that, they get rights too. And they got rights because they wanted us to know that this is what I do in the bedroom. And it's like, who cares? I don't have nothing against nobody. But I'm looking at it from an individual standpoint. I'm putting context to it. Hey, look at me. I'm gay. Who cares? That's just like me going into a grocery store and say, I'm a man. Look at me. I'm a man. Who cares? If that's who you are, you shouldn't have to broadcast it. And then push the agenda and the propaganda to be to make it seem like that your your life is more important than mine. Just because of your sexual orientation. God damn. But everybody get they get their rights and they do the due diligence and solitude before we do. Just recently, what happened? The Asian hate. Asian hate and people just randomly going punching age, Asians and shit and everything like that or beating up on Asians it's fucked up don't get me wrong I don't advocate violence towards nobody but that just came out of nowhere but not even a month or two months later then our current president signed something that has to do with protecting them. but what about us what about the people who've been here that's the thing that's why America always be looked at that you know like like I always said like the Midwest is America's like lost child so it's like how are we gonna sit here and act like that that shit don't happen to us every day in all different type of ways whether it be emotionally physically mentally we're always getting beat up on and, and, and spit on and they, they just don't care. But that's why I said like it's a damn shame that we're a stranger in our own home. They gonna keep on pushing it too because I mean I must I'm <laughs> I'm gonna stop before I say some some stuff to get me taken down, but um I wanna continue this this series. A stranger in our own home because it's the truth we've been here we've always been here but we've been conditioned and taught that we all came from Africa bullshit shut the fuck up if you the type of person who think we all came from Africa somehow they just drug us over here and and everybody black here in America is from Africa kiss my whole ass Excuse me, excuse me for the profanity, but you know, I'm I'm mad about this little boy getting shot, you know, and this man getting a thousand dollar bond. That was a felony. I thought if you dis discharge your firearm, period, it starts off as a felony. But anyway, I, I'm 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 gonna co probably continue this. Strangers in our own home. Just think about it. Look about it. look at it. Decades, centuries. Huh? But like I said, everybody gets first dibs before we do. That's why we will continue to be a stranger in our own homes.